Travis Wayne Goodzell. Uh, while out and about this morning, uh, into this afternoon, uh, which is why I am now putting up the earlier video that caused a delay. I uh, had uh, bumped into my ex, hoping to avoid it, and I could have gotten away with it, but I found it hilarious she didn't recognize me. <laughs> she walked right past my seat, sat right behind me. <clears throat> and so uh, I'm teasing her. She's checking out messages on her phone. And uh, I say, excuse me, do you know what time it is? Willing to help. That's the kind of girl she is. And uh, she tells me. And then she gets inspired to ask me if I uh, uh, am familiar with uh, uh, the Mormon church. And... Uh, or if I've known anybody in the Mormon church, I think it was. And I said, yeah, I was married to one. <laughs> and, and she says, oh, were you sealed in the temple? Uh, yeah, we're sealed in the Salt Lake Temple, room number 13 on October 1st, 2015. <laughs> and all of a sudden it hit. She was like, wow. She didn't recognize me. The beard, the massive weight loss. I guess the, the incarcerated homeless look is the, the new black <laughs> that drives women crazy. But, uh, I, yeah. Very bizarre. And so, I. Uh, then I uh, separate. She was heading off to church to practice the piano. Didn't want to come with me. <clears throat> and I uh, uh, went to Carl's Jr. had breakfast, and uh, <clears throat> then headed off to Barnes and Noble. And I get out of Barnes and Noble, and. I think I just missed the bus not sure because I see the other bus going and uh, I go to the bus stop and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and the bus doesn't show and uh, and so I'm waiting for the next one and uh, a, uh, oh, I forgot. <laughs> On the bus to Barnes and Noble, <clears throat> I, I, there were, I sat across the aisle from another woman, and I was noticing she was mimicking my posture, and uh, and and she seemed very nervous. And uh, uh, when there was an almost incident with the bus, uh, we looked over and, and there was a, a kind of eye grinning to each other. And so I thought I'd be brave enough and, uh, and ask her or let her make conversation. And she had earphone, but she took it out. And I said, it looks like it's going to be hot for the next couple of weeks. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, and then as I was leaving, I said, have a good day. And smiled. <clears throat> and then, uh, so nowhere with that one. No phone number. I got the phone number from my ex out of all of these three here. And so, yeah, then... Uh, the bus doesn't show. I'm waiting for the next one. Woman comes. She's 
uh, I had, had a blue band as if she'd been given a shot or blood drawn or something. Uh, it turns out she had blood work done there in that area. And uh, <clears throat> I told her that the 38 didn't show and it was now getting closer to the, the uh, next bus. And, and I had no idea. It was not showing up. And it ended up being four minutes late. And turns out uh, the buses on that route was having some problems. There are two of them. So apparently the two I wouldn't have gotten anyway. But I saw three others during the day that were out of order and were heading back to the back to the garage. Today was a bad day for the buses, I guess. And uh, and she was very sociable and and that was unique. Uh, obviously, she was not a a Mormon girl, not wearing Mormon attire. She was wearing the every high school boy's dream attire, and uh, <clears throat> and so that could explain why she was approachable and friendly, uh, and uh, especially to a, a scary guy like me the new black <clears throat> so no longer is orange the new black <laughs> no longer is pink the new black the uh, incarcerated homeless man look is the new black and uh, uh, but uh, yeah we're trying to have a conversation on the bus and I'm having trouble hearing and and uh, she uh, get, has a permanent marker that she writes on herself with because she doesn't want to forget. And I, it, she had numbers. It wasn't a full phone number. Could have been wiped off, but strange, it's a permanent marker. And, uh, and so I was trying to find out if you know she too was incarcerated in a Nazi concentration camp. And, and, uh, but, uh, yeah, it was just a bus conversation. She got off at her stop and said, enjoy the rest of your day, and that was it. So, yeah, the only number I got was from my ex. And she won't do anything unless I go back to church. But it was one of those things where uh, I remember in church, a Mormon would get up and bear their testimony and uh, it's next week isn't it not this Sunday but the Sunday after is fast Sunday when Mormons get up and on the Rami Umpton and do all sorts of things other than an actual testimony and uh, they talk about how they had this feeling that they should turn this location and nothing happened but they know that they were protected by being obedient. No. What I experienced today was things happened because I, I had the impression, hey, don't go early to Carl's Jr. Do the video that's being uploaded and uh, then go. And of course, they took forever to open up <laughs> this place, and uh, so I was running late. So I did the video, saved it, and now I'm uploading it. But, but that created a chain of other events that led to me seeing my ex, and then other events, and other, and I missed my ex on the way back because I found out later on email she was emailing me because of the missing buses and I got on the wrong track train <laughs> I'm on it and all of a sudden we're veering off to the right and I'm going wait a minute <laughs> we shouldn't be veering off oh, green oh. but the green line 
stopped at the very next stop and sent it back <laughs> because of some problem with the track train. Hilarious. And so everybody else got off on to the bus that was waiting to take them to the, the other stop in, in West Valley or whatever. But uh, it was one of those days. And I was thinking, am I going to see someone else on the bus? No, not really. That was the end of it. Just the three. But it was one of those moments where uh, things don't happen the way they traditionally, typically would. And uh, weird things happen. So, thought I'd share that with you, rather than typing it in my journal. But, uh, yeah, you have to have to throw in the religious part of it and you have to know the consequences if you choose to do something contrary to what you normally would and so that's what I was seeing and so yeah I was running a test after the third one and I uh, thought oh and no uh, it was just those three so I mean it was getting progressively better <laughs> from uh, Mimicking me to having a full conversation with me. Nah. Stuck with the X.